60 seconds and I only did one coat of this because I was going to apply those other two colors on top of it as well as a little bit more of this color uh, so doing more layers of just this one color right here wasn't necessary and I don't show myself doing all of the nails I think I only show me doing like two nails um, for this step and the next step just because the painting of the nails wasn't really like my main focus for this set. It was more so the 3D stuff that I was going to do. So I didn't really want to really feel like including me doing all the nail painting in this video. So I do only show like the entire 
set because I am going to be using like 3D sculpting gel and it was not wanting to stick to the nails and the matte pop coated them. Um, I have said before that when I use the sculpting gel, I feel like it does stick to the nail a lot better if the nail has some sort of sticky layer. So if you just gel polish that you had applied or if you apply a face coat beforehand then the sculpting gel will stick to the nail a lot better but um, I honestly wasn't thinking about that at the moment um, and I did have some issues with the sculpting gel wanting to not stick and like slide off because it just was not sticking to the matte top coat. Starting by creating the little like arm thing that's on the record player that um, you like put on the vinyl and it has the little needle on it and that's how it plays. Um, so I just take a little bit and I roll it out into a little ball at first and then I do um, form it to look like a little square. And as I always say, when using 3D sculpting gel, if you are going to be using your hands to form it and create whatever you are putting on the nail, you need to wear gloves. That way you don't develop an allergy. I have had, I've seen people say they don't wear gloves because it sticks to the gloves. And the best way to prevent that is to just add a little bit of alcohol onto the glove and then it won't stick. So if you are having issues with the gel sticking to the gloves, have a little bit of alcohol on your gloves and, you know, reapply that as needed. But you do want to always make sure you are wearing gloves. Another reason why it might be sticking is because it's starting to warm up in your hands, like the heat of your hands and all the friction from maneuvering it is warming it up and it's starting to melt a little bit and is causing it to get kind of sticky so to prevent that just try to limit as much as possible how much you are handling it um, like get your basic shape down with your hand and then put it on the nail and finish squirting it out on the nail with a silicone tool and that should help sticking to your gloves or getting too sticky. And I'm just rolling out a little like ball to create the actual arm of the um, record player. I don't even really know what it's called. But, um, so I roll that out and then I hear it. I did roll it a little bit too long, but I also did kind of purposely do that, like make it a little I thought would be needed because I could always just like cut it down um, and then that little square that I had put on the nail I hadn't cured it yet because I had the idea that once I cured the arm I was just going to be able to stick it into the little square part and it'd be fine but it wasn't really working so I did end up having to set it on top and then cure it and then add a little bit more of the trippy gel on top of it to cover that up a little bit and then at some point i did end up accidentally breaking that little arm off and had to glue it back on 
and then flattened it out. I did do all this on my like palette that I have and I definitely recommend doing this on like a piece of plastic or something. Like if you're curing your trippy gel off the nail, like have it on a piece of plastic. That way you can cure the underside as well. Um, I however didn't have any plastic. So I couldn't really do that. I could only just um, cure this first side here and then scrape it off of my palette and flip it over and cure the other side. But um, because I was only able to cure the one side and then I had to scrape it off and flip it over to cure the other side, the other side got kind of messed up and like got lumpy. Some of it stuck to the palette and it just ended up being a mess but anyhow after I got it all flattened out I'm just taking a small dotting tool and creating a little like hole in the middle of the record and then also going around and trying to create the little ridges that are on it. Label that says um, 
what the rec- name of the record is. top coat from LGN and top coating the record and the little arm thing and I did kind of wipe off a lot of the top coat off of this record so you could see those ridges because as you can see here it kind of filled in all those ridges so you couldn't see it but in the finished result you do see those ridges because like I said I did end up wiping quite a bit of it off so you could see that and then after I got everything top coated I did one final cure for 60 seconds really good. 
Yeah. 